Hello all, I'm back with another review. Today I'll be reviewing the Spinfisher V1 9500. In this review, I'll be going through the specification, the designs, the price, the durability and the usability of this reel. I think after watching this video, you will be able to decide whether you should invest on this reel or not. So let's begin. Let's open the box and see what we have inside. When we open the box, uh, there is the specification of this reel written, the CNC IPX5 8000. So let's open the box and see what is inside. So when we open the box we have the reel inside that so let's keep it aside for now and apart from the reel we have a exploded diagram of the reel which shows the parts the numbers of the parts if you need it in the future and the diagram showing the parts and then we have a spool washer we have actually two spool washers which is black in color then we have got the real manual and warranty so if it something happens we can use this in the future for claiming our warranty before getting on to the review i would really like to thank mr fish malta the fishing tackle supply shop for letting me do this review so if you are new to this pan spin fisher the Spinfisher V1 is the sixth generation of Spinfisher series. This was introduced in the year 2018 by bringing out some changes to the older version. The Spinfisher range of reel can be used as a shore reel or a boat reel. It depends on what type of fish you want to fish for. First of all, let's look into the design of this reel. The reel comes in gold and black color. It has a braid ready spool with a grip on it. And on the spool, we have got new grooves, which looks like a teeth of a shark. Then in the spool, there is written spin, spin fisher. Then the line capacity is also written. And the bail of the reel is comparatively much thicker to other reels and it has go also got line capacity rings so which helps the angler to know how much line he has left in the reel when if a big fish spools out him. The handle of this reel is on a bigger side. It's a metallic one with a football type grip on its end. It can be changed to both left hand and right hand as you wish. The handle knob is really very smooth and it has written pen on it and it is really convenient when handling a fish and it's really good to grip on. Then if you look at the body of the reel, uh, it is written about the ball bearings the gear ratio and line retrieval count of this reel and the reel looks really good with the black and gold combination now let's look into the technical specification of this reel the reel which i have with me is the 9500 series of the pen spinfisher v1 the reel comes with a weight of 1052 grams which is 30 grams lighter than the previous 9500 series of pen spin fisher. Another important thing is that this reel comes with IPX5 certification which is a water proofing certification which states that uh, this reel can be showered with water and still water will not be entering the reel so after a hard day of fishing in the surf or maybe washing the reel with the hose you don't have to worry about water or sand getting into the reel 
This reel comes with a drag of 20 kilograms which is 2 kgs more than the previous one. The drag click is not that much louder but the sound of the knob is really good and it is popping out so it will be helpful when catching fishes even in low light and it comes with the drag type of HT100 which says that the drag washers can easily run for 100 miles before wearing out so you have got a lot of life left in the drag washer of this reel now let's look into the line capacity of this reel this reel can accommodate 730 yards of 50 lb line 670 yards of 65 lb line and 435 yards of 80 lb line this means that no fish will be spooling you out from this reel you have got a lot of line capacity left onto this reel and if you are using more quality braid you can accommodate even more this reel has a gear ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1 and it has 5 plus 1 ball bearings and you can crank it up 40 inches per crank they have added a new series to the range they have brought in a 2500 small reel to the range uh, before they were having the ranges from 3500 to 10500 and when you want to select the reel it will depend upon what type of fishing you are doing if you are into lower casting it will be better for you to choose the reel sizes from 2500 to 5500 and if you are into short jigging it will be better for you to use 6500 or 7500 and if you want to go on the boat and catch big fishes you can either use from 8500 to 10500 depending on the size of the fish which you want to catch the reel uses cnc gear technology which uses computer technology to cut precisely into a solid piece of metal and making it more durable and smooth in the long term series still 16500 uses aluminium and above that uses brass for the gear the smallest series 2500 and 3500 come with the drag of 7 kilograms the 4500 comes with the drag of 9 kilograms the 5500 comes with the drag of 11 kilograms the 6500 comes with the drag of 13 kilograms the 7500 comes the drag power of 16 kilograms, 8500 comes with the drag power of 18 kilograms, the 9000 comes with the drag power of 20 kilograms, and the big one 10500 comes with the drag power of 22 kilograms. So these are the technical specification of this reel and uh, with this amount of waterproofing technology and full metallic aluminum body, uh, this reel is supposed to to last for a long time the price of the reel ranges from 150 euros to 250 euros it depends on the country where you are buying from so I won't be able to tell you an exact price on it but at this price point you are getting an amazing reel which can last for a long time which has IPX5 water certification and a full aluminium body it is actually quite worth it and if you're an angler who likes to fish in rough condition there is chance of water entering your reels and you don't have a pretty much amount of money to spend on premium reels you can go for the pen spin fisher and uh, it comes just below the pen slammer which i have reviewed before and uh, this one is world famous and a lot of anglers all over the world is using this reel the only downside of this reel is that it is a bit on the heavier side as the pen slammer but if you are planning to do jigging from the boat or catching fishes which are big uh, you don't have to worry about the weight this reel will do the job for you and especially if you want to catch big fishes from the shore like stingrays or shark i would really suggest you this reel it's really an amazing reel so these are my thoughts and opinion about this reel, hope you like the video, 
and if you are in Malta like you can contact Mr. Fish uh, for this reel if you are interested and thanks a lot subscribe my channel like my channel I'll be coming with more videos stay happy stay healthy thanks a lot bye